everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am, as the vinyl says, Shakisha Sims of Her Lovely Plan. Um, and I want to welcome all of my new viewers as well as my new subscribers and welcome back to all of my subbies that's been with me since 2018. It feels like it's been forever, but nevertheless, we are here to do a planner related video in my traveler's notebook. This is a B6 size and everyone knows that I refer to her as Kiki. So Kiki is my her lovely plan planner and I do also do some planning for my podcast in this as well but this is primarily everything that has to do with her lovely plans social media YouTube events all of that is in this planner so last week you saw me do a setup um, in my weeks and it was in this type of insert and it was very functional um, but again this was my very first um, set up in this travels notebook so I am kind of trying to feel my way and see what style works best for me I liked it I did um, get some function out of it I was able to write some things down um, that I needed to do but again last week was the first of the year so typically is not a lot going on so what I decided to do is to change my insert to something different and I'm gonna actually use this to track my podcast um, and my podcast is her testimony so this way I can write all of my podcast ideas and whatever scriptures and things that I'm using for my podcast for the week and then I can use these days as my tracking for the analytic portion because I want to be able to see what my audience like to hear and try to grow that um, part of what I do which is one of many things so if you want to see the new insert that I'll be using um, stick around so the insert that I'm gonna start using for my social media and YouTube tracking is a printable that I got from Robin's printables off of Etsy and I just printed it out cut it down to the size and I stapled it using my long arm staple so this is similar to more of the traditional type of layouts that I've been seeing um, most of the travelers notebooks especially like the b6 size it's normally with a three um, column well three row type of setup some of them will have you know Monday through Friday here and then on the next page it'll have Saturday and Sunday with some note sections but this is typically how their layouts look um, and typically all the days of the week are at the top um, and that's how they are able to, you know, kind of function or decide how they lay out their stickers from their kits because you don't have to kind of pick and choose um, specific sections, if that makes sense. But anyway, I decided to switch to this one simply because I do have a lot more writing that I need to do, um, especially now that the new year has started. And with the other setup, I could write on the other side, but, you know, I would have to... For me, I felt like I had to lay stickers and that's just my personal preference. You could definitely do bullet, po bullet point on the dot grid side of the other um, insert. But this is me testing out to see what works because I am a TN newbie. So I really think I'm gonna like this layout. Um, and just to kind of go over what I will be using, because as I said, I wanna be more intentional about providing y'all with the details. Um, I am using another kit, um, and these are actual deco sheets. It wasn't a kit from Simply Me um, Quiche, and I really love these colors and the florals. I mean, look how beautiful these are. So I'll be using these throughout the spread, and then I will be incorporating a doll sticker in there, and this comes from my girl, um, Tiffany, at shop LCA and if you want to shop her site and where she has some amazing things she has a new kit that's out and if you go to my YouTube excuse me, my Instagram page you'll see the new kit but if you use my code 20 her lovely all caps you get 20% off $10 or more so I'll be using this because the colors tie in and because this kit didn't 
well i keep saying kit because these were just deco sheets it didn't come with like date covers and things of that nature so i'm gonna actually use these date covers that came in my subscription box from the stationary muse and i'm gonna use these because the colors definitely match with these dates on there and then of course you have to it won't be a tea and spread if you don't have washing so i wanted to do something different i didn't want to have all bows and since these florals matched really well with these florals and then of course you have your gold bow stickers i'm going to go ahead and use these in my spread so let's go straight into this week's plan with me Okay, you guys, so before we get into this plan with me real deep, don't judge the whiteout. Please don't. I already know it's a hot mess.com, and I promise you that this will be the last time you see me use this washi. One of my planner friends blessed me with some happy mail, and she snuck in some Tombow. So all praises be to God. Thank you, thank you so much to Nisi Plans. If you're not following her on Instagram, make sure you go follow her. Oh my gosh, she just blessed my whole entire plan of life.
guys so I'm finished my spread and guys I'm 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 like I'm loving it I'm loving it <laughs> oh my gosh like the B6 life is for me come through with the spread I am loving this I don't know if y'all feel the same way that I feel but I love this whole spread so let's go ahead and just deal with the elephant in the room first this stuff got to go but I've been holding on and holding on cuz I'm like you know I have it there's no need to buy more but I'm gonna have to go ahead and invest in Tombow's correction tape whiteout tape whatever you want to call it because yeah hotmess.com I really wanted to edit out that whole entire part of me trying to put this white out down but again I am all about letting you see the uh-ohs and not all the oh's because behind every spread is not always a perfect video um, so yeah that's why you know it is important to spend the money on those things that's gonna make your planning easier and smoother and less stress-free because for some people that might would have overwhelmed them and they'd be like oh my gosh I can't do this you know but for me it's no big deal but it's just telling me like tomorrow I definitely will by the time next time y'all see this video I'm gonna have me some Tombow it's just I have the hardest time finding it I don't know what the problem is but anyway less about white out and more about this spread right here this spread right here OMG I can't even talk like I've been getting hype on my not really on myself but just seeing it after the fact and seeing it on film is just like does something to me like I'm just like oh my gosh I created this and um so anyway let's get into <laughs> let's get into this because I'll, I'll be in awe for like a good few minutes but anyway so like I said, I was I used the deco um, sheets that came from Simply Me Quiche, which were absolutely gorgeous. I went back on her site and I could not find these, so when I'm gonna tag her and ask them does she still make them because I need a whole nother set of this. Like I just really do. So what my goal is to do with kits is to also add some of my um non-kit planning style if that makes sense um because i was watching one of my um fellow youtubers southern tea time and she was talking about you know how she used to use kits and how sometimes kits can make you lazy because it already comes you know with a format and you creating your own spread it takes a lot more creativity and work which it can um just depending on you know how much you're willing to put into the creative side of it but with that being said that made me think like hmm I want to start using my kits but also kind of veering off and adding other elements to my spread that aren't associated with the kit so that's why I decided to pull in some of these stickers um, that were from the new sticker book um, it's the journaling one is one of the two journaling um, sticker books um, that the happy planner just released and then I went through and added some other elements such as these beautiful gold check marks that came from Spriggles <laughs> scribble print co and I got the different tones I got gold rose gold and silver and then of course like I think I'm gonna have to stock up on these bow header I mean it just makes it just pops I mean just look at it. you can put it over anything and I mean it's so translucent it's literally like transparent tape you can't even tell it's there except for the um, stickers so I used a little bit of that throughout on top of the washi um, because this particular insert you can print in different colors I think it came in like pink yellow blue but I'm not trying to have a whole bunch of colors I just printed it in, bl in plain black that way I can cover it up with washi or with any of the little header covers that come with the kits um, again this one was in a full kit so it didn't have come with the headers but nevertheless 
you know, I wanted to add other elements besides the kit. This whole date covers came from the Stationery Muse, and I used some different type of washi. Um, and then I used my YouTube icon, well, Words Thickers by H Rain Designs. Look at the foiling on this. I really wanted to use these ones, but these ones were more rose gold. So I think I'm gonna have to go in there and order some of these too. I really like these. Um, as you can see, I used this whole section up already. But yeah, so this is my spread, you guys. Like, like I said, I added other elements outside of the kit. Um, so for those that like to be creative but still want to use a kit, try you know blending everything in together using different things. Like I really like this coffee because the Dalton is hard sticker, and this coffee cup. Those came again out of the um, new journaling sticker book. There are two of them, so I'll make sure I will link which one I used. Um, and then I used my girl sticker. You know, I was gonna figure out how to get a girl sticker in my spread, y'all. And this came from Shop LCA. And again, I have a 20% off discount code that you can find in my description box, along with a whole lot of other description, um, a whole lot of other information in the description box. Um, make sure you check it out. Don't just bypass that section because it looks like a bunch of words because you might miss out on some good discounts. I mean, you might even find the discount code to these beautiful villa beautiful pins you never know what you're missing out on there but anyway you guys i hope you like this video and before i go just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video or a sunday live stream as well click the notification bell that will give you the alert so you won't miss anything because if you subscribe you may still miss it so make sure you click that notification bell on the side and as well Give me a big old thumbs up just to let me know you're rocking with me and you like what I'm doing. And drop me a comment. You know your girl stays on top of the comments. I'll either give you some kisses or I might give you a couple of words back. <laughs> and also, go ahead and share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plans. So until next time, planner fam. Peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.